All right, ever catch yourself just spacing out during those everyday things? Yeah. You know, like you're brushing your teeth, but you're really thinking about what you're going to make for dinner. Yeah, or that awkward conversation you had earlier. Totally. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> or like, did I actually put on pants this morning? We've all been there. It's like we're on autopilot half the time. Exactly. But what if I told you there's a way to like hit the brakes on that autopilot oh. to actually be present even when you're just like doing the dishes? That's a great question. And it's something that Zen philosophy has a lot to say about, which is what we're diving into today. We're taking a deep dive into Zen secrets. This book is all about finding peace and meaning in everyday stuff, the things we usually just rush through. So we're talking about mindfulness, right, but like in a practical way. Exactly. It's not some esoteric thing. It's about bringing awareness to even the most mundane tasks, like brushing your teeth. Okay, because I'll be honest, I don't usually associate brushing my teeth with like inner peace. Right, but that's exactly the point. The book talks about approaching each moment with a beginner's mind, like you're experiencing it for the first time. So instead of just scrubbing away on autopilot, yeah. I should be like, wow, fascinating teeth, look at that plaque go. Well, maybe not that literal, but the idea is to pay attention to the sensations, the taste, the feeling of the brush on your teeth. Instead of mentally planning your grocery list at the same time. Precisely, it's about choosing to be fully present in that moment rather than letting your mind race ahead. So single tasking with style, basically. You got it. And the source makes a bold claim here. It asks, what if the secret to a happier life is simply paying attention to every little thing you do? Okay, that's pretty big if, but I'm intrigued. It might sound too good to be true, but there's a lot of research that backs it up. When we focus on the present moment, our minds actually calm down. Okay, that makes sense. Our stress levels decrease, and we're more able to appreciate the good things around us. It's like when I finally put my phone down during dinner and really taste my food, it's like suddenly every meal is a gourmet experience, or, well, at least more enjoyable. That's a great example. And it highlights something important. Mindfulness isn't about forcing happiness or pretending everything is perfect. So it's not like this magical way to make all your problems disappear. Right. It's about acknowledging all of our experiences, the good, the bad, and the in-between, without getting swept away by them. Okay, so how do we actually do this mindful living thing? Because, let's be real, life gets busy, and I can barely remember where I put my keys, let alone achieve perfect zen every moment. You don't need to be perfectly zen. It's about finding those little moments throughout the day. The book actually talks about zen walking. Wait, so there's a special way to walk now. Do I need new shoes? No special equipment required. It's simply the practice of turning your walk into a meditation. Okay, I can walk and I can sometimes meditate, so I'm listening. Feel your feet hitting the ground. Notice the rhythm of your breath, the wind on your skin. It's about bringing awareness to those sensations. Like a walking meditation. Yes. And you can do this with other everyday things too, like eating. Oh yeah, mindful eating, I've heard of that. Notice the colors, the textures, the aromas of your food before you even take a bite. I do love a good aroma. Chew slowly, savor the flavors. It's amazing how much more you appreciate a meal when you're fully present with it. It really is. So instead yeah. of trying to overhaul our entire lives, we can start by just bringing more presence to those little things. Absolutely. Pick one thing, walking, eating, washing the dishes even, and just be fully present with it. So it's a practice, not a destination. Mm -hmm. Some days will be better than others, and that's okay. Exactly. The key is to just keep coming back to that present moment. This has been great. You know, it's pretty amazing when you think about it. If we can find this sense of presence and meaning in something as ordinary as brushing our teeth, imagine the possibilities for the rest of our lives. It makes you wonder what else we might be missing when we're not paying attention. What else are we overlooking? Yeah. Something to think about, listeners.